the famous Khwang beetle, as it's named in uh, Thailand, uh, Xylotrupes gideon. It's uh, a box that is ready for a check of the stage the larvae lar lar are in. And um, I want to just see how they grew in this 22 liter box. I put them in here 10 L1 larvae 23rd of July, so that's around four months now and we want to see how they do in here or add some more uh, white rotten nice wood if it's uh, necessary as we see on the top here already there are some fresh pellets that you can see here on the on the top of the box they might come from the from the larvas in here so it seems that they are active here and eating and also from the size of the of the pellets you can sometimes guess how big they uh, they will be now whether they are l2 or l3 so they in this size they look like a, a like l2 fresh pellets but we will see uh, what we find in here this is a pretty big one big a uh, fresh pellet um let's see what we can find we will measure them look how they get the drop here oh yeah they are really pretty big here yeah a nice big a lot of we find in here these are already l3 let's see how heavy they are on the weight scale um i have to start them but I see that there are a lot of them and that they look very healthy and nice. So this one is 27 grams. This one here is 24. There are some smaller ones here like this one. 18.6. And let's see when we go down what we can find. Uh, still a lot more of this nice big larvae here. Now we have all found two, four, see, already found six of them. We have some uh, earthworms in here. That's not very nice, but it seems that, um, that the larvae they don't, they are not disturbed from that. <coughs> Normally larvae of Xylotrupes gideon they are pretty hairy. They are probably the most hairy of the of the uh, rhinoceros uh, larvae and um, I will try to put the larvae that I found into this box just for a few moments until I have been searching for the whole box here. If you see on the bottom, we have these pieces of, of white rotten wood, and you can see that they have been gnawing on that uh, wood. So, let's see what happened here. If we take a look, a look at these wood pieces, we will see that, that they worked on this material and so that would be probably nice for them if I add some more of this stuff, fresh one, so they can eat them to grow even better. So I think we have all of them. There were 10 L1 larvae. Now we have 2, 4, 6, 8. We have 10 L3 larvae, big ones. And this is a nice view. So I have to um, prepare the box for them. So that they can go on eating. Uh, take all the larvae back to this uh, box. Now here you can see the whole the whole bunch of larvae of Cleotrupes gideon in this box. Now what I do, I place two pretty dry pieces of um, white rotten oak wood on the bottom of the box like this put the old ones that are a little bit wetter on top 
and fill in the rest of the substrate so that they can uh, eat here a lot of this uh, wooden material and then also you can fill it pretty high up here and now we have just to wait what happens so it seems they are pretty big now they can grow up to more to more than 40 grams uh, for a male a lot of also I think we come back and see how they have um, have gained more weight in around two to three months and that would be the nice time also to, to check whether they are already going uh, to the pupation stage and we don't have to add some more uh, of the flex soil material because they produce this flex soil themselves while gnawing from the white rotten wood pieces and so that's the surface of the box now and now we do the same like all the time we just place them on top and we will see how they dig down in the next few minutes we will see them disappear here suddenly they go down dive into the substrate and they will find their nice white rotten wood pieces down here in the substrate so all 10 survived from this L1 uh, stage that's pretty nice it's a little bit unusual also it also a sign that they don't uh, hurt each other in a box like this so that they have been they grown pretty well here and uh, this is a grey worm I don't like them here in here yes that's for a moment we will check them again next year around January February thanks for watching